We are here in Chicago at ASCO 2016, and earlier this year, Venetoclax received an FDA breakthrough therapy designation for use in combination with a hypomethylating agents and in treatment naive patients with acute myeloid leukemia who are not eligible for standard high dose induction treatment. So here at ASCO, we have more data on this particular agent. And for that, I'm talking to uh, Dr. Daniel Paulier, who is a clinical director of leukemia services and assistant professor of medicine at the University of Colorado School of Medicine in Denver. So let's first tell me a little bit about Venetoclax. So yeah, venenoclax is a small molecule inhibitor of the BCL2 protein, which um, has a lot of implications for our patients with blood cancers. In terms of what you're presenting here, where are you taking this drug? Yeah, so this is a follow-up from data that we presented at ASH um, with more patients and more experience with the combination of venetoclax plus one of two hypomethylators, azacitidine and decitabine, in the elderly patient population who can't tolerate intensive uh, upfront um, chemotherapy regimens. So this is going to be a little bit easier for them? Yeah, so the intention here is that this is a better tolerated therapy, uh, less mortality from uh, the treatment, less complications, uh, more of an emphasis on uh, being treated as an outpatient, and so all of those are priorities with this type of uh, approach. So what's new? So, you know, the, the, what's new is, is really the response rates that we're seeing. I mean, it's really uh, promising. Um, so, you know, compared to historical controls or the backbone treatment, the hypomethylator alone, we're really, really much, much, uh, doing much, much better. Um, still with preliminary, you know, studies with limited numbers. Um, but, but really, really exciting response rates um, and, uh, and, and very low, uh, well-tolerated toxicity levels. So we're really, really promising overall profile. So in terms of safety, what are you seeing? So, you know, the, the cytopenias are the main um, uh, finding, which is a very common finding in, in most patients with leukemia who are getting um, any type of a treatment. And then complications from those cytopenias, like infectious complications and things like that, those are the main uh, um, uh, signals from a toxicity perspective at this early stage. So where, where from here? Yeah, so you know we're we're working on um, a major expansion of this study in an attempt to get more patients on and 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 take a better and closer look at efficacy, um, and then from there, you know, I think we're really going to work to see how uh, this can um, uh, get you know some form of approval, um, so that this is something that the you know general population can have access to. So you're optimistic. I'm very optimistic. More optimistic about about this therapy than really almost anything I've ever seen. Wow, that's yeah. impressive. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time. I really yeah. appreciate it. And for Ash Clinical News, please check around online as well as in print for the rest of our coverage from uh, ASCO 2016. For uh, American Medical Communications, I'm Executive Editor Rick McGuire.